Hello, hello, everyone. Um, there is a DMX fan. He actually was fired from Verizon. So he was an employee of Verizon, and he actually was fired for using the N-word. He is now suing Verizon. He actually has worked for Verizon for 21 years. And so um, after allegedly being fired for using the N-word while discussing the late rapper. So here's the thing. He actually was at work. He answered a personal phone call on a company work phone while he was on a lunch break. And another co-worker heard him use the N-word and reported it. So he actually um, was let go back in May of 2021 after he was heard saying, you know, the IGA with the N in front of it while discussing DMX on a company phone. Now, as a union member, he said the termination was in violation of the National Labor Relations Act, the NLRA, and he wants to be compensated for damages. Now, this action also arises out of the breach by Plaintiff Union Defendant Communications Worker of America, which is the AFL-CIO, the union of the duty to provide fair representation and of the breach by Plaintiff's employer, Defendant Verizon New York Incorporated of the collective bargaining agreement, the document reads. Now the doc goes on to explain that the incident took place in April of 2021 when Kelly took a personal call on his work phone during his lunch break. In discussing DMX music, plaintiff used the word in, you know, which is a word commonly used by the artist himself in his lyrics, the docs continue. Unbeknownst to plaintiff, he had inadvertently answered a call on his company's cellular phone and a Verizon employee who listened to his private call for approximately 45 seconds overheard him say the word IGA with an N in the front. After investigation, Kelly was fired less than a month later for violating Verizon's discrimination and harassment policy. Kelly and his attorney feel that the word flies all the time at work and he's unfairly being singled out. Despite this alleged zero tolerance policy, certain employees routinely use words like B, C, Iga, Iger, and S in the workplace, the doc states. Such language is used in the presence of management level employees, yet when it is used by a female employee, an African American employee, and or a Hispanic employee, none is reprimanded or disciplined in any way. Now, this isn't the first time a white fan has found themselves in hot water for using the N-word in relation to their favorite rapper. Back in August, a Wu-Tang Wu Clan fan in the UK was fined uh, for using the N-word while rapping the lyrics to the group's debut single, Protect Your Neck. 25-year-old Kyle Siegel was recording himself rapping the 1993 song for TikTok while standing in a women's bathroom stall, unknowingly with a mixed-race woman in the cubicle next to her who was left severely shocked by the incident shocked by the incident while the defense said there was a few issues surrounding artistic freedom he noted Siegel was not a person of color he added that Siegel accepted he crossed the line but didn't intend to harm anyone with his action so we're seeing a lot of that and there's a big controversy surrounding that where uh People of color, black people do not want, you know, none black folks using that word. Um, now, I don't believe that everyone has an intent to harm, uh, you know, people of color when they use the word. Because if you're rapping in a song and the words is used in a song and you're repeating it, you're just repeating what the artist is saying. Now, in the workplace, you know, there were things that. Uh, employees were not even were not allowed to do which was in the policy handbook and one of them well how about this speaking in spanish they were not allowed to speak in spanish unless they were actually working with a patient or a customer or client you know or a visitor were uh you know they were not able to start speaking in spanish in personal conversations and that happened a lot in the workplace because some people would use their second language to speak ill of other employees. And it was witnessed and heard and reported 
So there was a policy that was in the employee handbook that wasn't really being enforced. And so it had to start being looked at and monitored and enforced uh, for people to stop doing that because sometimes people will use their second language to take advantage, to uh, make and say or use conversations in a derogatory manner against some other coworker, another coworker that, you know, does not speak that particular language. So that happened in the workplace. But as far as uh, you using certain words in the workplace, I think it's important to just be professional at all times. Be professional at all times. And will there be slip ups? Yes. Uh, again, if you even in the workplace, people are going to make mistakes because they're human. And I could see you answering, uh, you know, a phone call. You know, it's probably automatic that you would, you know, you have a work phone and you just pick up the phone and answer it. And then you find out it's a personal phone call and you don't really think about it. But a lot of times when people do call you on your work phone, the, you know, the best thing to do is to remember, you know what, can I call you back on my personal phone? You know, can I call you on my cell phone or my personal phone? Uh, you know, if they call you. Uh, on your work phone, you have a work phone at your desk or at, you know, or on the wall at your workstation and someone calls you and you realize it is a personal phone call to let them know that you need to call them back on your own personal phone. And that was one of the things even that I experienced in, in management is saying to employees, it's better that if someone, if you get a personal phone call on a work number, if it's an emergency you know, hey, I'm not going to be tripping with people, but being keeping within policy because they tended to want to hold you accountable for the staff that reported to you. So always just let them know, look, if it's a personal phone call, it's not an emergency, you know, or something like that. You just need to let them know you're going to call them back on your own, you know, time or on your own personal phone. That way that you are not getting yourself caught up and bring and bringing negative attention to the work area because the other thing is they can go back and monitor your calls and, and you know and everything they can and calls can be recorded so it's important you know to make sure that you're not having conversations that could you know get you caught up in in some adverse situations or negative situations and it's always good to more than likely take your personal phone calls away from the workstation or even outside or somewhere else where people are not sitting there listening to what you're saying. Because there are people, and you do know that, that will sit there and hang on every word, listen to your conversations because they're looking to uh, hold, get something, you know, bring some a case against you or build a case. Um, they are looking to be nosy. Some people are just nosy and, and CBN. We call it cock blocking back in the day. They just being nosy, ear, you know, or ear hustling. That's another word that we, we used, ear hustling, cock blocking. But there are some people in the workplace that actually are trying to build a case against other people and because they don't like that person or they don't like the person's position or, you know, the fact that person may be outperforming them. There are so many di different reasons why people, you know, tend to report other employees when it really has nothing to do with them. And uh, they didn't get the whole story. Obviously, he was talking about DMX and he referred to him as, you know, the N word. And DMX used that a lot in his lyrics and rest in peace to DMX. No disrespect. But, you know, again, you know, uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this uh, and how you would have handled this. And would you be offended as a person of color or a black person, I'm going to say, would you be offended if you heard someone using the N-word uh, and they were just repeating a rap song or speaking of, you know, a rapper or, you know, but what would you do? Would you consider it ill intent? Would you take offense to it? Or would you say it was in the context of, again, maybe in a rap song or they were just referring to someone because they use the word, but how would you perceive or look at this from your own perspective? So leave your respectful comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for tuning in. God bless you all.